Hey guys, Stinger30 here. Um, this afternoon I decided to to add a few capacitors to the battery input leads on my stock um, Traxxas EVX2 ESC in my Erevo. See if you can see that there a bit more clearly. It's a bit bit rough. As you can see there's not too much to it. You just um, connect it up. So that you put the negative to negative and positive positive because if you don't with these capacitors they will go bang um, but yeah it's a bit rough I think you can see a bit more there clearly uh, but yeah just strip back a little bit of the insulation off the wires wrap the leads from the capacitors around the the, um, the exposed wires and solder the fellas up and then I'll just put some clear um, heat shrink tubing over them um, that way in case if they do go bang or something goes wrong at least I've got some sort of chance of actually seeing what was going to uh, chance of seeing something actually happen rather than put a coloured heat shrink over it um, I was actually quite surprised as you can see I'm just running just a stock 14.4 um, volt devolt motor it's a bit rusty but in here um, yeah the punch off the line has certainly improved um, that's for sure, but the main reason I put them on was just to see if it was actually going to make the the ESC run any cooler Because uh, it's going to help try and filter out the um, voltage spikes and I was quite surprised it actually worked the the ESC actually runs a lot cooler um, Unfortunately, I don't have any sort of um, thermometer or uh, temperature device um, I just use the old whack your finger on there and see how long it tastes for you to go ah god that's hot um so yeah um and it worked it worked quite well um i could actually um i could rest my fingers on here and i could actually leave my fingers on here this afternoon after doing um a running full set of uh, batteries through the through the truck so i'm quite impressed um these batteries are actually around um, 25 volt 4700 microfarad and um, they actually work they work quite well um, it's probably you could probably get about this set up like this on it on this um, Erevo um, but if you're going to go uh, to a high-end brushless system I would recommend that you do not run these capacitors on a high-end brushless system um, I suggest you go ahead and build or buy a decent um, capacitor bank um, simply because um, you're going to lower your your ESR on the caps so you know you can get out this on a DeWalt but um, on a high-end brushless system don't do what I've done um, not a good idea I think you're going to be asking for trouble cheers